three understanding securely at his home book back answers back now take page number 186 roman letter one choose the correct answer first one secularism means option c an attitude of tolerance and peaceful coexistence on the part of citizen belonging any religion second one india is a land of option c answer both one and two third one the preamble of the constitution was amended in 1976 fourth one which one of the following describes india as a secular state option d preamble of the constitution fifth one right to freedom of religion is related to option d fundamental rights c according to article 28 which type of education is restricted in state aided educational institutions option a religious instruction seventh one the country will be considered as a secular country if it does answer b bans religious instructions in the state aided educational institutions roman letter 2 fill in the blanks first one religion does not teach us animosity answer is animosity second one secular secularism is a part of democracy which grants das equal rights to people third one antheism is a lack of belief in god and gods answer is antheism fourth one the bas the basic aim of our constitution is to promote das and das unity and integrity of the nation fifth one article 15 prohibits das on the grounds of religion caste sex or place of birth indiscrimination third roman letter match the following first one antheism lack of belief in god second one children children future citizen third one din il illagi divine faith fourth one constitution 1950 fifth one holy okki fifth one uh, coined the word secularism sixth one raja ram mohan rai social reformer fourth one straight true or false first one there is state religion in india the answer is false second one the term secularism has been derived from the greek word the answer is false third one the mughal emperor akbar followed the policy of religious tolerance the answer is true fourth one jainism originated in china the answer is false fifth one government of india declares holidays for all religious festivals the answer is true fifth roman letter consider the following statements and tick the appropriate answer first one secularism is invaluable for a society like india which is characterized by religious diversity second point the word secularism was not mentioned in the constitution when it was adopted in 1950 third one article 26 deals with payment of taxes for the promotion of any particular religion fourth one akbar's tomb situated at sikandara near agra the answer is d option d first second and four only second one assertion a if a foreigner can practice his own religious faith in india reason the freedom of religious is guaranteed by the constitution not only for indians but also for the a for the aliens also the answer is b both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of a third one assertion secularism is invaluable in india 
reason india is a multi religious and multi cultural country the answer is option a a is correct and r is the correct explanation of a then fourth one find out the wrong pair option a din il ilahi a book this is the wrong option uh, roman letter 6 answer the following in one or two sentences first one name some of the indians who contributed to spread of secularism take page number 182 rajara mohan rai sir sayed ahmed khan rabindranath tagore mahatma gandhi and b r ambedkar up to this first question answer second question what does secularism mean take page number 183 Secularism means an attitude of tolerance towards other religious and peaceful coexistence of citizens belonging to different faith. It is a policy of neutrality and equality by the states toward all religious communities. Up to the second question answer. Third question. State the objectives of secularism. Take page number one hundred and eighty-three. The objective secularism la first point one religious group does not dominate another second point some members uh, don't dominate other members of the same religious community third third point the state does not enforce any specific religion nor take away the religious freedom of individuals up to this question number 3 your answer fourth one why is it important to separate religion from the state page number 183 a secular state is the one in which the state does not officially promote any one religion as the country's official religion and every religion is treated equally up to this fourth question i would answer Fifth question: What are the characteristic features of a secular state? Take page number one hundred and eighty-three. The characteristic features of secular state: La first, principle of liberty. The state permits the practice of any religion. Next point: principle of equality. The state does not give preference to any religion over another. Third point: principle of neutrality. the state remains neutral in religious matter up to this fifth question answer sixth question mention any three constitutional provisions related to secularism take page number 184 the article 15 prohibition of discrimination on group grounds of religion caste sex or place of birth etc next point article 16 equality of opportunity in public employment up to this elidite the last one the article 29 2 la a ban on discrimination in state aided educational institution idu varaikku sixth question oda answer then seventh roman letter answer the following in detail first one why we need secular education page number 184 and 185 the it land the detail one secularism is in education means making public education free from any religious dominance next thing you want know to remove narrow mindedness and make a dynamic and enlightened view second point to develop moral and humanistic outlook third point to train the youth to be good citizen fourth point to strengthen democratic values like liberty equality and fraternity and cooperative living then fifth point to give wider vision towards life then sixth point to develop an attitude of appreciation and understanding of other points of view then sixth point to develop the spirit of love tolerance cooperation equality and sympathy then eighth point to synthesis 
materialism and spiritualism up to this first detail on answer second question secularism necessary for a country like india justify page number 184 the word secularism was not mentioned in our constitution when it was adopted in 1950 later on in 1976 the word secular was incorporated in the preamble through the 42nd amendment of the indian constitution india is a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic The basic aim of our constitution is to promote unity and integrity of the nation along with individual dignity. Next, there is no state religion in India. The state will neither establish a religion of its own nor confer any special patronage upon any particular religion. The freedom of religion guaranteed under the Indian constitution is not confined to its citizen alone but extend to alliance also up to this uh, second detailed answer 